everyone, this is Mindy for Honeybee Stamps and in today's video I am going to be creating a really simple gift card holder and this is if you need kind of something for that quick gift that you need to give. Now in my family, for my older brothers who have birthdays around the holidays, I like to give them a lottery ticket so that is actually what I plan on using this for. Now I am going to be creating this card hold, gift card holder or my lottery ticket holder using the seed packet die. And I am going to be die cutting this out of some paper bag cardstock. I'm holding that in place with some easy C tape and running that through my die cut machine. I wanted to have kind of this like rustic look to my um, front of the gift card holder. And I'm also going to be stamping a background. I'm going to use the Holly Jolly background stamp. So I'm going to place this in my Misty tool, but I added some repositionable tape to it first so it doesn't pick up with the stamp set. Sometimes the cardstock can stick to the clear stamp sets. So that should stay down. And then I'm placing my background stamp in the way that I want it to look on the front of this holder. Once I pick that up with the door of the Misty, I'm going to ink it up really well with embossing ink. So this is going to give a very neat tone on tone look. I'm going to make sure I stamp that down really well. And to make sure it's kind of stamped pretty good, I'm going to stamp it twice. But you could leave it just as is on this first impression because I am going for that kind of rustic vintage look. But I thought twice was pretty good. There's still some like splotchy areas, but I'm actually really okay with that. This die also had created some score lines. So I am going to go through and fold on all of those score lines and reinforce the fold with a bone folder. Now this is some pretty thick cardstock and I do actually have some cracking on the edge. It didn't rip, everything is still held together. And I actually like the cracking. It kind of added to that uh, rustic feel. So after I have all of those folds scored and reinforced with the bone folder, I am going to add some red line tape to the sides that are going to fold in. So here at the bottom, and you can tell which one is going to fold in because it has kind of that angled cut. So I added red line tape there, and then I'm adding the red line tape to the side. Sometimes the backing of that red line tape can be, can be a little tricky to remove. So I am using my craft pick to kind of get under it and be able to pull that up to release the backing. Then I'm going to just fold these in, tuck them to the inside and close this so it seals. The measurements of this seed packet is listed on the Honeybee Stamps website, but it is four and seven tenths wide and five by nine tenths tall. So it's going to fit a gift card, and my lottery tickets depending on the size that I pick out. Now technically that's all there really is to it but I'm going to just take a little time and kind of dress this up a little bit or add some detail to it. So first I'm ink blending the edges using a blending brush and some frayed burlap distress ink. I'm going around those sides but I didn't want it on that flap so I'm just going to mask that off with some post-it tape and then I can come in and add that ink blending. And I'm gonna do it on the other side as well so that both sides match. Now I'm taking my ink pad, still the frayed burlap, and I'm going to do direct to paper and I'm doing this around the edges. I don't care if I'm getting marks from the ink pad, I really love that distressed look. So here's that flip side. This is the side where the flap is up and this is the side that I'm actually going to decorate. Once again, doing that direct to paper technique just to uh, give it that vintage look just a little bit more. So for decorating the front, I'm keeping this super, super simple. I'm using the smallest tree out of the pine trees die set and I die cut that out of white cardstock. For a sentiment, I picked out a sentiment from the holiday wreath stamp set and I'm going to stamp this with my embossing ink onto some palm cardstock. I did prep the cardstock with an anti-static powder tool and to make sure I'm getting a really good impression, I'm going to stamp this about two to three times. It's kind of hard sometimes to tell if I have good coverage on here and I'm finding that if I just do gentle taps, gentle presses to stamp it down, but stamp it multiple times, which is the beauty of the Misty, I'm getting a lot better results with my heat embossing. Once this is stamped down, I'm going to take some gilded embossing powder, sprinkle that over my stamped sentiment, kind of tap that to really get it to settle in to the ink, and then tap off any excess. 
Now that I have my heat tool is nice and warm, I'm going to kind of start in the back a little bit and then come to the front and it's just magical how this embossing powder melts and I love the gilded. It is a beautiful, beautiful gold. I'm going to remove any excess powder with my Swiffer cloth, just buffing over that once it's nice and cooled off. And then I'm going to trim this out. I'm going to use my Bitty Buzz Cutter, which is just off on the side. So I'm trimming it to a size that's going to fit onto my plates. I lined up the coordinating die, held that down with that Easy C tape, and then running this through my mini die cutting machine. Now I also went ahead and used the scraps of cardstock to die cut out a couple other layers so that it's going to add dimension. And I'm going to layer that all together with my liquid glue and my tweezers. Now I can finish off the front of this by adding my tree, which I'm doing with my liquid glue. There is going to be a little bit of the tree that hangs off and I really like that look where it's kind of hanging off of the edges. Then I'm going to add liquid glue to the back of my sentiment and add that on top as well. And I like to place something heavy on it and let it sit for just a moment. Now I thought my ink was kind of fading a little bit too much into the color of the cardstock. So I'm going to come back around with my ink pad and do that direct to paper again. I probably should have picked a little bit darker of a color to do this. So this turned out super cute. These are just really cute little pockets that you can put letters in. You can put your gift cards or for me, like my lottery tickets. I probably should have put a happy birthday sentiment on the top, but I was just kind of in that festive mood with that background and the tree. But this is going to work great and it was really quick to do. You could also die cut out this seed packet from pattern paper too. So if you're looking for a quick gift card idea, I hope this has inspired you. Now, one quick afterthought I had is that once I buy my lottery tickets, I think I'm going to create a seal with the wax seals and use that to seal my pocket shut. So really cool idea I'm excited to do. I will have the supplies listed down below in the video description. Thanks so much for stopping by.